An important problem in many areas of applied mathematics, find a vector orthogonal to another vector. There's a formula for that, which can be implemented faster, cheaper, and more accurately by a computer, so learning it is learning how to be replaceable by something that doesn't have to be paid a living wage. Instead, what's important is creating the formula. So let's start off easy. Let's find a vector orthogonal to 2, 1, 5. So remember, every problem in linear algebra begins with a system of linear equations. And we know that if two vectors are orthogonal, their dot product is 0. So suppose this vector is orthogonal to 2, 1, 5. Then we know the dot product is 0, and that gives us a linear equation. So our system, nothing says a system has to have more than one equation, is and we can row reduce this. We'll do this quickly, so pay attention. And we find that x2 and x3 are free variables, and x1 is basic, so we can parameterize them. Now, since our pivot is 2, it will be convenient to include a factor of 2 in our parameterization. So we'll let x3 be 2s, x2, 2t, and the one and only row of our system gives us the equation 2x1 plus x2 plus 5x3 equals 0. So substituting in the values for x2 and x3, we can solve for x1. We can find an orthogonal vector by choosing any value we want for s and t, as long as our choices don't give us a trivial vector 0, 0, 0. So let's choose s equal to... how about 1? We also need a value for t. Since s isn't 0, we don't have to worry about producing the 0 vector. So we'll let t equal 0 and get the specific vector 5, 0, negative 2. It's useful to remember, if you don't find your errors, someone else will. So let's verify we actually have an orthogonal vector, and we can do that if we find the dot product, which will be And so the vectors are definitely orthogonal. What if we have two vectors? So remember, if two vectors are orthogonal, their dot product is 0. So if x1, x2, x3 is orthogonal, we have the dot product with 2, 1, 1 being 0. And so that gives us the equation. And also the dot product with 1, negative 6, 4 will be 0. And that gives us the equation. And so we have our system of linear equations. Row reducing gives us and since our pivots are 1 and 13, it's convenient to include a factor of 13 in our free variable. So we'll let x3 be 13s. Now our second row of our row echelon form matrix gives us the equation 13x2 minus 7x3 equals 0. We know what x3 is, and so we can solve for x2. Likewise, the first row gives us the equation x1 plus 7x2 minus 3x3 equals 0. We know what x2 and x3 are, so we can substitute those in and find x1. And again, we can choose anything we want to for our free variable, and if we make the easy choice and let it be 1, we get one of the orthogonal vectors, negative 10, 7, 13. 
Now, we can create a formula, which can then be programmed into a computer to do it faster, cheaper, and more accurately. To do that, we'll replace the specific vectors with generic vectors. So, let's find a vector orthogonal to A, B, C, D, E, F. So, a vector orthogonal to both satisfies the system of linear equations. We'll row reduce. and get our parameterized solution. Since our pivots are dA and AE minus dB, it will be convenient to include a factor of dA times AE minus dB in our parameterized variable. So we'll let x3 be the second row of our matrix corresponds to the equation and substituting our value for x3, we can solve for x2. And likewise, the first row corresponds to the equation. Substituting in our values for x2 and x3, we can solve for x1. And Let's clean this up a little bit. And we can do one more cleanup step. We note that x2 and x3 include a factor of dA, and x1 also has a factor of dA. So let's factor it out to get Now again, we could choose any value we want for t, and t equals 1 will definitely work. But since every component has a factor of dA, it's convenient to let t be 1 over dA, which gives us for our three components. Now, every mathematical formula is just a summary of all of our steps into one compact form. And so we could say that a vector orthogonal to these two vectors is, this is a very important formula. But if that's all you know, then you can be replaced by something that is cheaper, faster, and more accurate that won't ask for parental leave or safe working conditions. Remember, understand concepts. Don't memorize formulas.